the most influential entertainers who died in 2022. Number 1. Stephen Twitch Boss, died at age 40. Stephen Twitch was a dancer and choreographer who appeared in the 2008 season of So You Think You Can Dance. He came in second. He collaborated on a dance routine with Ellen DeGeneres in 2010, and in 2014, he was appointed as the show's DJ and frequent guest presenter. Additionally, he shared screen time with DeGeneres in the 2017-2021 television program Ellen's Game of Games. Boss made movie appearances in Step Up, Magic Mike XXL, and Stomp the Yard 2, Homecoming. On December 13, Stephen Boss passed away. Number 2. Kirstie Alley died at age 71. Actress Kirstie Alley was best known for her award-winning performance as Rebecca Howe on Cheers and her roles in iconic movies like Look Who's Talking and Drop Dead Gorgeous. Alley won an Emmy and a Golden Globe for her work on Cheers and earned the same nominations her role as the title character in Veronica's Closet. She received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and would see a revitalizing in her fame later in life with appearances on several reality shows including Dancing with the Stars twice and Celebrity Big Brother. Allie died after a battle with cancer. Number 3. Bob McGrath died at age 90. Bob McGrath is best known for being a founding cast member of the 1969 debuting children's television program Sesame Street. For nearly five decades, McGrath portrayed the local instructor on the show. McGrath was a singer, actor, and author of children's books. The tenor of Bob's voice permeated musical halls and radio stations all across the world. On December 4th, he passed away. Number 4. Christine McVie died at age 79. After a brief stint in a band called Chicken Shack from 1968 to 1969, Christine McVie joined Fleetwood Mac in 1970. She was a keyboardist, vocalist, and songwriter. She wrote such hits as You Make Loving Fun and Don't Stop. The Fleetwood Mac album Rumors, released in 1977, is one of the best-selling albums of all time. McVie took a hiatus in 1998 but returned to Fleetwood Mac for its On With The Show tour in 2014. Christine McVie died on November 30th. Number 5. Dan Reeves died at age 77. Reeves, a former NFL running back and coach, died on January 1st due to complications from a long illness, according to his family. After his time playing as a running back for the Dallas Cowboys, Reeves went on to coach the Denver Broncos from 1981 to 1992 and the Atlanta Falcons from 1997 to 2003. He led the Falcons to their first ever Super Bowl in 1999. The NFL legend, who is the only person in history to play and coach in multiple Super Bowls, also served as head coach for the New York Giants from 1993 to 1996. He earned the NFL's Coach of the Year award twice, in 1993 and 1998. Number 6. Sidney Poitier, died at age 94. The legendary actor, who was the first black man to win a Best Actor Oscar, died on January 6. Born in Miami, Sidney Poitier was raised in his native Bahamas, on a rural farm with no electricity or running water. He later moved to Harlem, washing dishes to pay his way. He went on to serve in the Army before joining the American Negro Theater, where he traded janitorial services for dramatic arts training. His career began on Broadway, with a role in Lysistrata. His breakthrough big screen role was as Dr. Brooks in the 1950s racial drama No Way Out. He went on to star in countless films, 
earning prestigious awards and accolades, including the Best Actor Academy Award for his turn in Lilies of the Field. Other iconic films of his include To Sir With Love, In the Heat of the Night, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which continued to interrogate themes of race and class. Outside of his acting, Poitier explored those same issues off-screen as an active participant in the civil rights movement. He later served as the ambassador of the Bahamas to Japan from 1997 to 2007. Number 7. Calvin Simon, died at age 79. Calvin Simon, the co-founder of the music group Parliament Funkadelic and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member, died on January 6. Number 8. Bob Saget, died at age 65. Bob Saget, stand-up comedian and actor famous for his roles on Full House, How I Met Your Mother, and America's Funniest Home Videos, died on January 9th. The comedian was found dead in his hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando on the afternoon of January 9th following a performance in Jacksonville, Florida, the night before. Number 9. Chris Dickerson, died at age 82. The first ever black Mr. America and renowned bodybuilder Dickerson passed away on December 23rd, according to several outlets that first learned of the tragedy in January. Dickerson died at a hospital in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, after struggling with a heart ailment, his friend Bill Nealon said, the Washington Post reported. Dickerson blazed many trails throughout his career, including becoming the first openly gay Mr. Olympia, a men's professional bodybuilding contest, in 1982. Throughout his lengthy career, Dickerson amassed 50 titles, including wins at International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness Grand Prix competitions in multiple states, the Post said. Number 10. Steve Shapiro, died at age 87. According to the New York Times, the renowned photojournalist passed away on January 15th from pancreatic cancer at his home in Chicago. His work recorded the civil rights struggle and included images of celebrities. Shapiro's civil rights coverage included the March on Washington in 1963 and the 1965 marches from Selma, Alabama to Montgomery, the Times reported. He also shot the cover for the first ever issue of People, which featured a photograph of Mia Farrow as Daisy Buchanan in The Great Gatsby in March 1974. Active until the end of his life, Shapiro also documented the Black Lives Matter movement in 2020. Number 11. Charles McGee, died at age 102. McGee, a decorated military pilot and Tuskegee Airman, died at 102. On January 16, McGee died in his sleep, a family spokesperson told Reuters. He had his right hand over his heart and was smiling serenely, his youngest daughter, Yvonne McGee, said in a statement. McGee was a living legend known for his kind-hearted and humble nature, who saw positivity at every turn, his family added in the statement. He spent the last half-century inspiring future generations to pursue careers in aviation, but equally important, he encouraged others to be the best they could be, to follow their dreams, and to persevere through all challenges. McGee is survived by his three children, ten grandchildren, fourteen great-grandchildren, and a great-great-grandchild. His wife Frances preceded him in death in 1994. Number 12. Dion Lendor, died at age 29. Lendor, a three-time Olympic track star and former Texas A&M athlete who competed for Trinidad and Tobago. The athlete died in College Station, Texas, on January 11th after striking one vehicle before plowing head-on into another driving in the opposite direction. Number 13. Yvette Mimiu, died at age 80. Mimiu, 
an actress well known for her parts in classic movies like The Time Machine from 1960 and The Black Hole from 1979, passed away. On January 17, Mimu passed away peacefully in her sleep from natural causes. Los Angeles native Mimu, who began her acting career in 1958 and has 50 credits to her name, was nominated for a Golden Globe for Most Promising Female Newcomer in 1960's Platinum High School. Number 14. Lucia Harris, died at age 66. Pioneer of women's basketball, Harris. The announcement was confirmed on January 18 in a statement from Delta State University, where Harris studied and played for. We are deeply saddened to share the news that our angel, matriarch, sister, mother, grandmother, Olympic medalist, the queen of basketball, Lucia Harris has passed away unexpectedly today in Mississippi, her family said in the release, per DSU. The recent months brought Miss Harris great joy, including the news of the upcoming wedding of her youngest son and the outpouring of recognition received by a recent documentary that brought worldwide attention to her story. Number 15. Andre Leon Talley, died at age 73. The renowned author and former creative director of Vogue passed away on January 18. In 1983, Tally began working for Vogue as the publication's head of fashion news. He was soon promoted to creative director and served as Anna Winter's right-hand man from 1987 until 1995. He returned to Vogue after stints at various publications before finalizing his relationship with the magazine in 2013. Number 16. Louis Anderson, died at age 68. The comedian's representative quickly verified that he passed away on January 21. He had been diagnosed with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, an aggressive blood disease, and was being treated in a Las Vegas hospital. The star's first TV appearance, as a stand-up comedian on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson in 1984, immediately catapulted him to fame. He had memorable appearances in movies including Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Coming to America, and in the 1990s and 2000s was known for his TV work including the animated show Life with Louie, the host of Family Feud and his Emmy Award-winning turn in Baskets. Number 17. Elsa Soares, died at age 91. Brazilian singer and samba icon Soares died on January 20 at her home in Rio de Janeiro, of natural causes. Icon of Brazilian music, considered one of the greatest artists in the world, the singer elected as the voice of the millennium had a triumphant, intense life that moved the world with her voice, her strength, and her determination. She obtained a record deal in 1960, beginning her legendary singing career with classics like Se Acaso Voce Chagas and Kadira Vazia. After taking a temporary hiatus from the music industry in the 2010s, Soares returned in 2015 with an album that won her the Latin Grammy for Best Musica Popular Brasileira Album. The project specifically targeted oppressed people in Brazil, police brutality, and violence against the LGBTQ community. Her later albums, released in 2018 and 2019 respectively, also received Grammys. Number 18. Meatloaf, died at age 74. Legendary rocker and actor Meatloaf, aka Marvin Leaday, died on January 21. His amazing career spanned six decades that saw him sell over 100 million albums worldwide and star in over 65 movies, including Fight Club, Focus, Rocky Horror Picture Show and Wayne's World. Bad Out of Hell remains one of the top 10 selling albums of all time. Number 19. Ray Liotta, died at age 67. A shocker. Ray Liotta, the terrific actor whose career breakout came in the 1990 Martin Scorsese crime classic Goodfellas after co-starring in Field of Dreams, has died. 
Leota died in his sleep in the Dominican Republic, where he was shooting the film Dangerous Waters. We will have more details when they become available. Ray leaves behind a daughter, Carson. And last but not least, number 20. Irene Cara, died at age 63. Irene Cara, a singer best known for her performances of the songs from the movies Fame and Flash Dance, passed away on November 25, 2022. The Academy Award-winning actress, singer, songwriter, and producer passed away in her Florida home. Cara got her big break after she was cast in the 1980 musical Fame, in which she starred as Coco Hernandez and also sang the title track for. She would go on to be nominated for two Grammys for her vocals on the hit track. She penned Flashdance. What a feeling for 1983's Flashdance, along with Giorgio Moroder and Keith Forsey, and she snagged two Grammys as well as an Oscar win for the ballad. All these people were wonderful entertainers. That gave so much to this industry, whether it was fighting for human rights, singing, acting, sports, or fashion, they left a mark that can't be erased.